Hey, I'm Chris with Legacy Woodworking Machinery. And in this video, we get the opportunity to visit with Michael Zamarza, a professional cabinet maker in Southern California, and see what he's producing with his Legacy CNC machines. Throughout this video, we'll see the steps Michael used to build this beautiful custom cabinet. He designed the cabinet in SketchUp using the CabinetSense plugin. This is his software of choice for designing his custom cabinetry. Our very own Tracy Anderson had the opportunity to visit Michael's shop and help build the project. We thought this would be an excellent opportunity for the legacy community to learn from a master cabinet maker. Let's kick things off by showing how Michael built the parts for the cabinet base. The linear base molding was produced on the Maverick 3x5 CNC machine. You can see how Michael used two separate cutter profiles and in a few short minutes produced a simple but elegant molding. Michael decided that the base molding should also wrap around the corners. He simplified the creation of these parts by machining two MDF end caps on his CNC. Afterwards, the four mitered parts were mounted together, the end caps were attached with double-sided tape, and an index hub was screwed into place, ensuring a perfectly centered part. The four parts were machined as one using the same cutter profiles that were used for the linear molding. Don't you love it when parts fit perfectly? Check out how Michael mounts the molding and the corner pieces to the base to create a wrapped corner effect. For the corners of the cabinet, Michael designed round brick pilasters. Using the same process as the wrapped molding, Michael taped four blanks together, trimmed the ends and mounted end caps. He used conversational cam to create a program to turn the pilasters round and machine a brick pattern. This technique allowed him to produce four pilasters in one step. The last components are the door and drawer fronts. Michael experimented with several variations of the drawer handles. In one variation, he created his own handles by machining a relief in the drawer front and carved a wooden handle. After recessing the drawer front, the handles were machined on both sides of the part. You can see how stunning these wooden handles look. In the end, 
Michael decided to go with brass handles and knobs. You can see how easy it is to install the drawer fronts using the soft close hardware. And the same thing goes for the door. While the Maverick was processing the embellished components, Michael used his Artisan 2 to process the sheet goods for the cabinet boxes, effectively doubling his productivity. The drilling, hardware pockets, joinery, and dimensional parts were all completed in this one-step process. Michael loves his CNC because he can produce precision parts that fit together perfectly. Now let's take a look at the assembly process. Michael has been producing cabinetry for over 35 years. He has developed some incredible manufacturing processes and techniques that save time and money, but at the same time, does not sacrifice structure strength, quality, or beauty. Using these simple techniques, he combined the simplicity of the Euro-style cabinets with beautiful embellishments to create a work of art. Michael is a gifted designer and an expert in cabinet sense software. You can take advantage of his knowledge and expertise by attending one of his cabinet making workshops at his facility in San Bernardino, California. To receive email notifications of upcoming workshops, including Michael's cabinetry workshop, you can sign up by clicking right over there. Press that subscribe button to stay informed on awesome videos like this one. To check out more on the Maverick CNC router systems, click on the Maverick playlist right down there. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.